in this tutorial we're going to do a simple walk cycle so here's our character he has a body and two legs so just to differentiate the left leg and right leg I've given two different colors so the left leg is blue and the right leg is green so let's look at this rig we have a main control that's going to be used to move the entire character we have a hip control so the hip control will help us to move the upper body then we have a small control up here just to rotate the upper body if you want to have some small animation there and then we have two leg controls so this is the right leg I can rotate it so we have a inverse kinematics here and then we also have a ball roll so I can select that and use my middle mouse button to move forward and backward great so the same thing works for the left leg also that's our rig so let's begin animation first we have to set our initial pose and this is going to be in walk cycle so I'm just going to time it to one second so exactly 24 frames it's going to make one full cycle so let's get the time slider here go ahead and right click and choose my time slider let's go to frame number one and set our initial pose I'm gonna keep the hip there I'll make the right leg go back okay and I'll make the left leg go front I'll have to bring the hip a little bit down and before that I just want to push this heels up for the right leg so I'll select this right leg go to ball roll and middle mouse click and drag something like that so I'll just give an exact value of 5 now I just want to bring the hip a little bit down so that this leg becomes nice yes something like that not too much of bend but not too much of straight like that so just a little bit okay so this is our initial pose and I want to freeze the same pose at the end of the frame also so that is frame number one and frame number 24 so let's select all these three controls that is our hip control and press shift key and select these two legs okay so let's go ahead and first go to the first frame and press S that is our keyboard shortcut S or you can select all these and right click and choose key selected which will do the same thing great so let's go to the last frame now 24 and we'll do the same thing here I can either press S in the keyboard or I can select all of them and right click to choose key selected so you can see that we have created a keyframe here and here by looking at this red line so now we have to create the exact opposite pose in the middle so frame number one is done frame number 24 is done let's go to frame number 12 so here we want to push this right leg front and left leg back the hip will remain in the same place so let me just push this forward I'll choose my move tool move this forward you don't have to be exact in the same location it can be approximate so I just kept it somewhere there and I have to make this ball roll back to zero let me just push this back okay so I think that was approximately there and I want to give a ball roll for this so I'll give five I think I can push it even backwards okay my auto key is not turned on that is why it is not creating keys automatically so all I have to do is once I've made this pose I'll select one two three and press S so you can see that we have created a keyframe at frame number 12 let's just go back scrub back and forth and see what happens okay so we can actually find out the exact location if you want and try to put that same exact location here so I think that's perfect maybe I can push it a little bit forward now whenever you make a change make sure that you press S to create that keyframe here so there you go so let's just play and see how that looks okay oh it's running fast that is because uh, I have to make a small change in my settings I'll go to windows settings and preferences preferences and there you'll find 
time slider yes so there in the playback speed instead of saying play every frame we'll make it real time play 24 frames per second I'll hit save okay so now you can see that the leg is sliding which is not the result that we want so let's just animate the hip also so we're done with frame number one frame number 12 and frame number 24 now let's go to the middle here that is frame number six between frame number one and twelve let's lift the hip up okay you might have to lift it more I'll press S to create a keyframe there so let's just play okay so it goes up and then it comes back fine good now in the middle we also have to do some changes here so the leg that comes from the front will have to be planted on the ground so this is the left leg that is coming from the front so I'll go to frame number six I'll make this ball roll value to be zero okay so that plants on the ground fine and accordingly we have to reduce the height of the hip fine and the right leg has to go up so let's select the right leg before that let me just make sure that I press S if you have turned on the auto key you don't have to press S every single time but I have not turned on the auto key so I'm just doing it every single time so I'll just go ahead and push this up I'll make the ball roll again zero here but I have to make a small rotation here so I'll just rotate it like so and press S so now the left leg, uh, right leg coming from the back goes up and then goes down fine so there you go and you can also notice that the hip is also going up and down fine Now we have to do the same thing for the left leg which is going to be somewhere here at 18 between frame number 12 and frame number 24 so let's go to frame number 18 let's make this right leg to be planted on the ground flat so I'll make the ball roll to be zero and I have to lift the hip up just enough so that the leg becomes almost straight and then I have to lift this up make the ball roll to be zero and I will rotate like so great so we've made changes on all the three controls so I'll select all the three and press S let's play that back there you go so that's our walk cycle Okay, so this concludes this tutorial on creating simple walk cycle for a character that has just legs and an upper body.